Hi, my name is Cold Bear, and today let's take a look at the mods that improve game graphics beyond all limits. Let's start with Witcher 3. CD Projekt Red has announced that the game will get upgraded graphics someday this year for next-generation consoles and personal computers. But why wait for official goodness when you can have this awesomeness right away? What you are seeing right now is obviously not one mod, but many, along with ray tracing, HD textures, super turbo lightning and much more. Just look at that hair work. I will put some or all of the mods in the description for every game. I have no doubt that by using them or adding more of your choice, you can create a miracle on your screen. Other than the videos of the Pornhub, well, along with that miracle, it will also create a fire in your room, because your PC will melt and then will burn down your house. But you know that these graphics are worth the sacrifice. Minecraft well, to be fair, improving Minecraft isn't really hard, because it has the simplest graphics. It's like improving the taste of an oatmeal. You can't make it worse. But improving Minecraft like this, it's some other level of epicness. Sadly, you can't get it for free. You have to make a donation on Patreon platform of Creator for ultra-realistic textures if you want to enjoy that on your PC. You can put your money there, or you can become my Patreon and allow me to buy better vodka instead. Or both both, there is also a free trial version of textures, I will put download links in the description so you don't have to search. Although keep in mind that despite those ultra graphics look amazing, if this wasn't Minecraft but rather some brand new 7 euro game on Steam, you wouldn't be that impressed. But since it's Minecraft, it is amazing, beyond amazing. It's like boobs. No, boobs are better, don't say this heresy ever again. Oh, alright. Assassin's Creed games. One day a crafty guy named KTMX decided that he's not happy with how Assassin's Creed games looks like and made them better. Ray tracing for Black Flag, Syndicate, Unity and some others is just one of the many improvements that will leave you gobsmacked. Just look how good it is now. Drawing distance, shadows, water, everything is fantastic. There isn't much to tell you about this, you can see it all by yourself. So better I tell you an assassin joke instead. What is the opposite of an assassin. It's a dig dick out. Let it sink. Diablo 1 one thing is when you take a new game and make it even better, but completely another is when you take an old game and make improvements there. Diablo mod named Belzebub. It not only increases resolution and adds support for panoramic screens, but here you will also get many user interface improvements, new hero classes of barbarian, necromancer and assassin, quests which were missing from the original game, 4 difficulty levels in single player, new locations, new special and randomly generated bosses, new spells, new character skills, 204 unique items, sets and crafting recipes and much more. And there is an even more impressive mod in the world named Chernobog, which takes this HD nonsense to even higher level by allowing multiplayer. Just look at that, isn't this absolutely amazing? I will remind you that Diablo is a 24 years old game. Mod is not finished, but you can try it anyway, I will put a download link in the description. GTA 5 because I'm obviously a 12 year old boy mentally, I watch Mr. Beast videos and among them I saw a showcase of this amazing GTA 5 graphics mod that actually inspired me to make this video in general. Photorealistic natural vision mod makes your GTA 5 look like it was a game released just a few months ago. I can bet that you still think about GTA 5 as about older but still a modern game, but when you realize that it was released in 2013, it may change your perspective. So so basically what you are seeing right now is almost 8 years old game. Dude, 8 years ago you could still do at least one push up and run around the block and now you can only roll around your sofa. Don't worry, you are not alone in this field. Knights of the Old Republic 2 
As with the third Witcher, this is not one mod, but a collection of them. All that collection you will find in the description, so don't worry about that. Knights of the Old Republic 2 was made by Obsidian Entertainment and released in 2004. It is still, along with the first part of the game, considered to be one of the best RPG games ever created. The plot is not what you expect from a Star Wars game. The world is complex, characters are well made, and graphics for such an old game are not that bad, to be fair. You can clearly play it now, of course, this modded version. And along with graphic enhancements, be sure that you install the Sith Lords Restored Content mod as well. It will add quests and content that was stripped from the game before release, because Obsidian was out of time, so they had to cut a lot of stuff from their game, and this mod restores it all. Like you restore yourself at night to eat delicious potato salad in the morning. So even if you have played the game before, now with all the mods and new content, it will probably be fun to try it again. Skyrim when I was modding Skyrim Beyond Limits last year, it was the first time when my gaming laptop turned off by itself. Those were the seconds of terror, because I was thinking that I fried my GPU. And you know, that could have been true, but luckily it just overheated. I still had to make a video, so I risked my laptop for making it anyway. I doubt that you can mod any game like you can mod Skyrim. Thousands of mods exist and they are free to use. I will put my own collection in the description, but this is just a tip of a dick. Uh, I meant tip of the iceberg. You can experiment however you want and create the most beautiful game you have ever played. And also you can find and make improvements to previous Elder Scrolls games as well, such as Morrowind and Oblivion. You can even find a Unity version of Daggerfall. StarCraft 2 Carbot Mod at last, something that is not related with ray tracing. Can you even call it graphics improvement? My inner 12-year-old says hell yeah, and the game with the carbot upgrade looks ridiculous. It's the same StarCraft 2. You can do all the micro, all the timings, you can even play it on the professional level if you are good enough, but there is one thing you can't do with this mod. You can't take it seriously, because it's everything but serious. I wish they made ESL championship matches with this instead of serious. Starcraft 2. Imagine Raynor fighting Zest with these units for the price of thousands of dollars. That would be something out of this world, as this game is. By the way, Starcraft 2 is free to play. All you need is Battle.net launcher. Fallout 4. Let's be fair, Fallout 4 wasn't a beautiful game. Dull grey environment, washed out colors and scarce object in the wasteland supposed to create a post-nuclear atmosphere, but that wasn't working very well. Only thing those landscapes were creating was boredom, and even occasional ghoul encounters or death by death claw wasn't helping at all. Cities on the other hand were awesome. And now with all these ENB and ray tracing mods, the game finally looks fantastic. And I would dare to say more realistic than ever. Keep in mind that Fallout 4 is almost 6 years old and to make it look like that, modders had to waste hundreds of hours of their time. Fallout 4 is one of my favorite games and now I'm seriously considering playing it for the third time. Because just look at it. Doom. Brutal Doom mod was in development since 2010 and it takes Doom into a whole new level. It makes the game much more beautiful and violent than before. There is much more blood, plus it adds unique gibs, death animations, dismemberments, headshots, executions, fire and explosion particles, flares and much more. The whole world becomes more real and interactive. You can kick severed limbs and heads, shoot enemies' heads to deal more damage and destroy more most things in the scenario, trees, lamps, hanging bodies and so on. You can paint the floor, the walls and even the ceiling with blood. You can push the explosive barrels to make traps or grab them and use like an explosive weapon. You can silently take down enemies from behind and perform stealth kills and the chainsaw actually cuts the enemies in two. That is beyond amazing. Even John Romero himself said that he thinks Brutal Doom is the best Doom weapon smart he has ever seen. And now's the time when you press that like button and subscribe to my awesome channel for more videos like that. Let's be friends with benefits. Also, you can support me on Patreon and make my life in Eastern Europe even better. You will find all the links below. And now have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye.